farmers. Welcome back to Hinterland, planting the grass in our new grass field, and it's coming along nicely. Not going through much seed or fertilizer, which I topped off before I came over here because I didn't know how much I was going to go through, and hardly any at all, honestly. Um, I had a quick look at the store page, the sale items, and I had a thought about, because for sale is the Case Cotton Module Harvester by Stevie. It's like half off. Um, still going to cost us like $250,000. So I just did a quick little math and leasing it for an hour would cost us twenty five grand. So, you know, I only need to use it once a year. So if I lease it for 10 times, that's how much, you know, that's the only way I would get my money back on the cotton module harvester. I don't know if we're going to be here 10 years or not. So I think we're going to keep leasing the cotton module harvester. Uh, yeah, just spending a quarter of a million dollars on a combine uh, for cotton. I, I just don't think it's going to be worth it for us. Uh, unlike a combine for crops where I need it for a, a lot of different months. A combine definitely is worth it. But a cotton module harvester for a one-time use per year, I don't think it's worth it for us currently. And then I would also have to borrow some money because, well, we don't have the $250,000 to go ahead and buy that. So, even though it's a good buy, um, I am going to say goodbye because uh, we're not going to be purchasing that. One thing I need to do, though, after we get done planting this grass field, I need to go over and I think we're going to take care of the sheep and the cows. The cows need some straw. I think they're fine on TMR, but I'll probably give them some of that as well before we move on to the month of June. Uh, the sheep just need some conditioned grass and they're fine. I mean, I think they're fine for a while anyways, but... We got the conditioned grass. I'd like to get them up above half. They're just below half. So I just want to give them up above half just in case we get more sheep anytime soon. Uh, we're all set and ready to go. And then I'm hoping in June uh, we will have time to, or I hope the barley is ready. Uh, give us something to do in June. If, if the barley's not ready in June, the only thing I got to do is take care of production buildings and make sure the animals are all set. As for the grass field here, though, getting back to this, uh, I mentioned last episode what to, I, I might possibly do with this forest area just to our right. Uh, I, I think just cutting down the trees and maybe replanting trees up there is the best option for us. Uh, there was a couple of comments like, oh, cut them down and just flatten it out. That's a lot of land to flatten out. Uh, we do have free landscaping, but um, I don't mind landscaping out like little bumps like I did in the fields. That, that's a big bump. I think we can manage harvesting that as grass, as the land is shaped. I don't think it's that bad. Um, it's not the best, but it's not that bad. I think in Farming Simulator 22, our equipment could handle it. But I think we're just going to get, go ahead and just leave it as is. Uh, because it just uh, leaves character to the map, I do believe. Uh, we, there's plenty more land we can buy and add more grass fields. So I'm not concerned about smoothing it out cutting down all the trees, moving them up. Yeah, it's just it's just a little bit of a, a, a too much. Um, I was walking around up there, and if you are looking for collectibles on Hinterland, there is a collectible on top of that hill somewhere. I ran across it when I was up there just trying to get a better view of, uh, you know, if, that, if that's an option. Also, someone did mention about the logs that we moved or went around down there to go ahead and sell them. Those aren't actual real logs. Those are like a prefab. Those aren't like logs of trees that were actually cut down. We can't pick them up and bring them to the saw mill or anything or sell them anything like that. The only thing I could probably do is just delete the prefab off uh, the map and just get rid of it. Uh, but we're going to go ahead and just leave it there again just to add character. And it's not going to give us that much more space for grass. It's not really necessary. If it was a big building or something that was just an eyesore, uh, then maybe I would do that. But it's fine. This, I think the grass feels just fine the way it is which we are just about done doing. And I was keeping an eye on the dairy production. It, it looks like the numbers are going down at a good rate now for the milk. Uh, most of it's being used for butter. Good thing is we have a lot of storage. If uh, storage runs out, we'll have to take the butter and the cheese out and we'll put it into one of our storage buildings or Actually, just one of our storage buildings. The other one I want to get rid of, uh, the one from Giants. 
every time I get near there with the vehicle, if I get too close, it cuts out the sound of the engine, which I don't know why it does that, but... I do like the other building. The only thing wrong with that mod is, for some reason, the building doesn't render in until you get rather close to it. I don't know if that's something to do because it's next to another building that does the same kind of a thing. But we'll get rid of the other building once we go ahead and sell the planks. And I think potatoes are still in there, which I can move. And I think planks, uh, that's going to be coming up here pretty soon. Is it July for planks? Where are the planks? Uh, it says July. All right. Um, we're in May. The price is going down. Best price is fourteen twenty nine. dollars Oh, so we're not that far off. Uh, anything in dark green is something we could possibly sell. Methane, yeah, I don't think it's worth going over there and getting the methane just yet. It's only, um, it is 19000 but it's only 19000 which sounds kind of weird saying that when you're, I don't want to say desperate for money, but uh, income is always kind of nice to have. So, yeah, in June, this should be, I mean, the grass won't quite be growing yet, uh, but it'll be green. We won't actually see the grass itself kind of growing, I don't think. Um, let's go ahead and we'll wash up the drill. Wait, is there a big bump there? There is a big bump there. I don't remember that bump being there. A little bit of a hump. I'll have to smooth that out next time. I did not get those silage bales moved, as you can see, so the road there is not quite complete. Let's go ahead and we'll wash up the drill. Uh, we'll grab the Voltra. We'll just grab a few bales of condensed, uh, condensed, conditioned grass. I'm still, I'm still saying condensed. I don't know why. Uh, conditioned grass for the sheep. And, of course, a good amount of bales for straw for the cows. So they keep on making solid manure. Which tomorrow we'll probably have a good amount to bring over to the BGA along with slurry. Which is good because we always make a good amount of cash from that. Let's dive on into here. Uh, we do have some, I just remembered, I got some barley in storage. And I'm trying to figure out if I should just go ahead and sell it. Because with the Maze Plus food add-on for the animals, the chickens do not actually take barley. I don't believe they do. Let me just double check on that. Uh, let see. Chickens. Uh, so, the protein food is soybean, alpha hay, and the, the duca chicken food. Wheat or sorghum. Corn, CCM, corn, grain, grist, and the chicken uh, food again, sugar beet, carrots. Yeah, so they don't take barley. So I don't think I actually have anything that will take barley. I don't think, uh, yeah, that's, I don't think barley is a thing anywhere. I mean, the only thing I can do with it is make grain grist, but we got a whole bunch of that. So maybe after harvest this year, if I got an excess amount of barley, we'll have to... Not sell the barley, but I would bring the barley over to the bakery and start making some flour. Actually, you know what? I should I should just do that. We got we got tons of barley. I'm gonna have more barley this year, and we are saving a lot of wheat for the chickens. So probably bring some corn and some barley over. Start making some flour, and we can make some more bread, which we're currently still making. That production is slow, slow as can be. So we should do that this month to get that process started. Let's go ahead and put our drill away. And we can put the case magnum away for now. Our planter did rather well after reloading the game. Because it, it, it just swiveled over and hit the concrete beam that's going across. And with the uh, tractor still attached to it. The front end didn't move hardly at all. All right, let's go take care of the animals. Now let's go ahead and... Actually, you know what? Let me detach back up to that. Might as well give them the rest of the TMR from the previous night. I do need to check sometime soon if a TMR production building will take maize plus productions. Now see, there's hay. We don't want hay. We want conditioned grass to start with. Uh, before I do, we're going to need the weight. Not the trailer, but the weight. Okay, 
and detach the trailer. Even with the weight on the back, two bales can be a little bit too much for this. I think these are all the same size in here. Yep, that's all we got. So we're just going to grab two of them at a time, I hope. Oop. Just got a pallet fork up the butt. That's always a wonderful feeling. Ooh, bounce right off there. Wow, even two bales. 13,000 liters of grass is a little bit too much for the Voltra with that weight on the back. Oh, you're going to be like that, huh? You're not going to fall down? Thank you. And we'll grab actually a couple more. The sheep will take the grass out of the pasture, but we're starting to get enough sheep to where that's not uh, quite keeping up with them. All right, we'll just grab two more. I love uh, having these stone walls in front of the spawn points. Kind of let us know uh, you shouldn't drive through there with the wrong type of bale. And also it does add, the wonderful word I'm using today is character. It adds more character to the map, I think. Kind of glad the sheep aren't going through the feed as fast like the cows are. Same thing with the water. I was a little worried about it. When I put down this new pasture, I was kind of worried about, you know, the water and all that. I'm like, I'm going to come over here quite often. But I was like, yeah, we're already doing it with the cows, but the sheep are not going through that much currently. Spin around here. And same thing here. Uh, any odd bales? No, we do not have any odd bales, so two bales, please. And actually, before I load that on up, let me go ahead and open up the gate. I do have to drive around. Cows are very nice. They don't, they, they're not going to leave their pen. They're not going to leave their pasture. They got plenty of room to move around out in their own pasture. No. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I'm just kind of asking for trouble there, wasn't I? Well, that's better. So, 18,000 liters of straw is not as heavy as the 13,000 liters of hay, which makes sense. Or, sorry, conditioned grass. You guys are going to take more than that, I'm sure. Is that not in the trigger? I'm starting to think the other one is not in the trigger. We'll drag that over on the next batch. Just want to give them enough to get through the month. Because when we harvest the barley. And I pick up the straw bales off the field. I'm going to just drive in there with a full trailer and probably dump most of it in. And I think... 36,000 liters of straw should be good enough for them for the month. You're going to go in at an angle again, aren't you? Yeah, we're going to try it. Probably fall off again, but... So the trigger must be like right here. Yep, that one disappeared. Let's go grab the other bale. And we'll drag that back. There, that one disappeared. That floor looks more straw covered than before. Which is the whole purpose. Oh, wrong button. 
and then we go down to cows, straw. Yeah, the straw was like way down to here. We're up back up to here. Uh, yeah, the food capacity, they're good for another month. I think we're all set. So let's go ahead and put the Voltra away. Yeah, I think a shed over here would not be a bad idea. I, I, I thought about the tankers, but I mean, the tankers are just right there. So, I mean, yeah, I, I don't want to put down a big shed. And actually, can the Voltra, how's the Voltra going to look if I just park it in here? Although, a place for the TMR mixer would be good as well. I need to start learning. It's always been a habit of mine to just uh, leave tractors out in the open sometimes. Because I'm like, oh, I'm going I'm to be using that in five minutes. Got to start putting things away here. Uh, TMR mixer, that's not going to quite... I mean, I think it would fit in there. But I think it's going to stick out quite a ways. Uh, let's see. The animals should be all set. Factories should be all set. No, 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 no. no. Factories are not all set. We want to make flour, right? Uh, let's grab the truck. Rain trailer would be next. So, I think all the barley... Might as well just go on over. And I think we got like 60,000 liters, possibly. Uh, we... Okay, 30,000. Still a good amount. It's not going to look like a whole bunch in that trailer when it holds 120,000 liters. Alright, off to the bakery. If I start making a lot of bread in the bakery, I may have to upgrade that eventually because I did not put that much... Uh, what did I put in there? Kind of forgot what crop I put in there to make flour with. But it was it's taking forever. That's what happens when you get used to mods. And how fast they can produce things. And then you go to base game stuff. Let's see. The drop off point should be right back here. There we go. Give it a second to pour on in. And... Productions. Let's see, what do I got left over? I don't have that much flour, but uh, let's see, barley. So we want uh, barley flour. We'll activate that. And then, of course, we just have to take flour into bread. So that production will start on up. So we can do the same thing with corn. 30 corn for 23 flour. I don't remember how much corn we got, but like I said, we got to keep some for the chickens. So, see how much we got. I'd like to leave maybe, because we didn't plant corn this year, so i got to be a little bit careful. But I think if I leave 50,000, which should be more than enough for the chickens, right? Uh, what is the chickens? How much corn am I putting in? Uh, that should be base food. 7,000. Yeah, I think I can get by with like 50 or 60,000 left in the silo. And I think we got like a hundred and something thousand. Let's go see what we got. But you know what? I'll spin around this way. Alright, where is the corn... Actually, we got 115,000. All right, I think I'll leave about 60,000 liters in the silo, just in case. We're going to be making so much flour, the bakery's not going to be able to keep up with it anyways. So I'm going to grab 50,000 liters. And we'll start producing some flour. And we're going to have so much flour in that bakery. Oh, almost right on the nose. 50,014. Making money. I mean, we got the bakery. Might as well do something with it.
Yeah, we definitely got to plant a couple of those oak trees inside the chicken coop to give them some shade. All right, add the corn, please. Go back into productions. Corn flour gets in there. Let's go ahead and activate that. Perfect. And now we're going to get definitely gain on the flour quite a bit. All right, we are all set. So just to show you quickly uh, in the store page, there's the module express. Uh, yeah, 237000 I could lease one 10 times and that would be the same price. So that means for 10 years before I even break even. And like I said, I'm not sure. I don't think I've been on a map yet 10 years in FS22. Uh, been awfully close. Maybe no man's land we were. Right, so the grain trailer, I think, is going to be parked over here for now because after I just said it should be putting everything away, I'm going to be using it probably first thing in the morning when I take the manure over to the BGA to bring in some cash tomorrow. Park that right here. Yeah, should have a full trailer tomorrow. Uh, water, wait, are the cows good on water? Uh, well, I don't want to chance it. We don't want any of the cattle to die. I'm going to top them off with water and uh, head to bed, and I'll see you in June. Well, June is here, and the barley and the wheat, the wheat we knew was not going to be ready, but the barley is not ready either. Uh, so next month, it looks like both crops. Our grass field, well, yeah, it, it's growing, so it should be ready for harvest in a couple of months, so sometime in August, that'll be ready. So we don't actually have any field work to do in the month of June, but I'm sure we're going to have a whole bunch of manure and slurry to bring over to the BGA. We'll get that up and going again to bring in some cash because we did drop down to 12,500 overnight. We got 20 more sheep last night, so that's going to help out with the wool production, which of course will help out with making fabric, which then, in, then turns into, of course, clothing. So that's going to help out very much by next season. Uh, this grass field here will be ready, even though it says ready for harvest. Uh, we're going to wait another month for the grass to be completely tall and good. Uh, overall, let me see how the animals are doing, actually. I did, uh, see chickens. I mean, they're not going to go. We got only 20 some odd chickens, so they're not going to go through the feed that much. Uh, the cows, I'm glad I gave them water last night. They probably would have made it. They would have been like right about here. Yep, another 44,000 liters of milk. Now, the dairy production, still not going fast enough for the amount of cows that we got making milk already. So, it's either keep upgrading the production of that dairy, or maybe try to find a modded one, which I keep saying I'm going to do, and I think I'm going to have to, because uh, pretty soon, let's see, which cows, how old are you? You're four months, you're only four months old? All right, so you got a long ways before you start making milk. So we got some time to think about it. I'm not thinking about it, but, you know, maybe getting another milk production up and maybe make something different, possibly. We'll have to see. And, of course, uh, the sheep are doing good now. They actually took a lot of grass from their pasture because we were, like, at, what, 50%? It actually boosted up, even though we got 20 new uh, uh, almost like cows, uh, 20 new sheep last night. So that's pretty darn good. Uh, well, let's grab our truck. We'll grab the grain trailer. And we'll bring the manure over, and we'll bring the slurry over. And then I'll probably uh, just pass some time a little bit, and I'll I'll take care of feeding the cows in between episodes. That's just me just putting bales into the mixer and doing it four or five times, it seems like. Um, yeah, you guys are taking the grass out of your field, I'm sure. I know you are doing the same. Uh, we're starting to build up some pallets now, which is good. Not a rush to bring those on over because, yeah, that production building will, will zip through that in no time flat. Uh, what time is the rain going to be here? Not that it really matters that much. Nope, not calendar. Uh, where's the weather? Uh, noon. So I got until noon. Plenty of time to do what we, what we need to do here. 
I probably still got some water in the tanker, so while I'm here. Dump the rest into there. And while that's going on, let me have a look at the production buildings. Anything that needs to be taken care of. Um, wood chips, probably, but the sawmill. Yep, not spawning anything as of yet. Uh, I mean, I went probably like 30,000 liters of milk yesterday. And we're producing 44. So it doesn't tell me how much I don't have enough money. So I can't even figure out how much is upgrade. But it's going to be like 100 grand to upgrade that. Or just put down another one and start uh, bringing some milk there. But we're getting a good amount of milk and butter, which is nice. And of course, uh, flour, we're building up on that. And the bread, we're starting to get a whole bunch of that as well. Slow production, but it's coming along. When it comes time to actually go sell like bread, it'll be like, oh, look how much bread we got and how much money we can get for it. I do remember on No Man's Land that bread was a decent profit, and so were cakes. Uh, but we're not going to do all the cakes and all that kind of stuff. Can I get into that trigger? All right, no, let me back in. We'll grab that manure and bring it on over. Spin around. Careful turning the truck too tight. Sometimes the trucks and trailers like to dance if you turn too tight. Oh, I'm waiting for it to come up. I just have to... Yeah, it's not going to prompt, I don't think. I'd actually just have to activate it. And while we're waiting for that to fill on up, anything in really, really dark green... Uh, pig food. I don't think I got that much pig food. No, I got like a thousand liters in stock. Uh, planks long. I mean, we don't actually have a whole bunch of that to go sell. So nothing really. Uh, but we got to keep our eye on the planks. Oh, the price is going back up on planks. 1372. Next month should be the month. And we should get almost 200 grand for that, which would be nice. All right. Off to the BGA with a load of manure if I don't get the back end of the trailer stuck. Wait for that building to spawn in. There it is. <laughs> it just takes a moment. But it's there. Alright, so 70,000 liters of manure, which is not that bad. Oh, I didn't think I was actually going to be in the trigger. But I was. It always seems like uh, where we're dropping the stuff off, like that hopper is always... seems like it's filling up more and more as we go along here. And I don't know why that is. It should be kind of empty except for what we're putting in right now. Uh, manure. So, let's see. The only thing we got in here is the 70,000 liters of manure that we just put in. So, I don't know why. It looks like it's always... Got stuff in it. Uh, activate that, and then we'll be back with the slurry. And we'll activate that and start making some cash today. Uh, with that cash, I'm thinking maybe the best thing to do is just keep it in our in our pocket. Actually, you know what? July, we'll be selling planks. So I think we'll be all set. So maybe I will pull a bit towards the loan. Like I said, once we get that loan where it's, you know, below 30000 a month, we'll be good. I could sell a whole bunch of other products as well when the time comes. Uh, definitely, we got to wait on the butter and cheese. That's not until the end of the year. Grain grist, I, I think we got more than what we need. I could sell some of that. I think I got to start selling some more products. Uh, okay, so brown tanker for slurry. I may actually have slurry in this right now. I already do. So this may be a couple trips. I might actually, because I, I talked about it before, I don't know when it was in the series, but there is a mod out there for making different types of milk. So we can make like uh, strawberry, chocolate milk. Uh, there was four types of milk. I think it might have been soy milk. 
and I don't remember what the other one was. I may look into that mod. Uh, I could put down some greenhouses to make strawberries so we can make, uh, to spring, I think the recipe would be strawberries and milk. Um, chocolate milk would be, probably make chocolate, right? Uh, <laughs> that'd be the obvious one. Yeah, so we just have probably have to make chocolate and bring it on over. And I have been thinking more and more of, since we got a whole bunch of sugar beet, possibly putting down a sugar plant to help out with the, the production of chocolate where we actually use some more milk out of that production building. Because a sugar plant, compared to upgrading the dairy production again, the sugar plant would be cheaper. And we already are doing sugar beet. We got the equipment, so maybe making some sugar. We don't actually have to make a whole bunch of it, I don't think. So possibly two more productions coming here soon to Hinterland. Could even do it as soon as uh, the month of July when we sell those planks for 200 grand. Glad to see that those cattle are doing well. I was kind of concerned. I like having those cattle there. We don't own that cow pasture, but if I bought the land that it's on, then it that that pasture would actually be, become ours and I would be responsible for those cows in there and by not feeding them they would actually because we got the mod to where um, they could pass away by not feeding them I like just having those cows there I would like to buy that land to continue the road of asphalt down through there but I think if I were to go resell the land it may say that I can't because that cow pasture would be ours and you can't sell land if it's got a placeable on it. I may have to test that on the test map to see if I can do that. All right, let me go ahead and activate slurry. Activate that. This BGA processes this stuff really quickly. Let's see how much more slurry we got. Bring that on over. We'll get that processed. And then the rest of the month, I am basically just taking care of the animals, which is currently just the cows. The cows are about the only thing that's going to need some attention, of course, with their feed. And actually, it looks like I may have to take care of the saw mill a little bit and put that stuff away. Starting to build up a little bit of a stockpile. Probably should take care of that stuff. Because uh, we're getting the harvest season, and I don't want to get too focused on harvesting the crop and kind of, I don't want to say forget about the production buildings, but. Yeah, so I think we got the room to put down like a sugar plant. I don't know if I want to put it right in front of that hut or not. I could put it right over here on the other side of the potato production, right across the street, or I actually got this corner right here a lot as well. So we got, we got enough land and room to put down a couple of productions. Um, I'm going to have another look uh, at that other milk production for strawberry milk, chocolate milk. If we're going to be making chocolate, might as well go ahead and make some chocolate milk with it. Uh, soy milk is a possibility, I do believe, like I said. And strawberry, well, we can put down some greenhouses, which will just require water and manure, which we got plenty of. Um, yeah, and we'll see how it goes. But I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always. I'll catch you again right here in Hinterland. But until then, have a good one.